guys I'm back again it's a girl Florence and today I am going to be talking about balance and how it's like the most important deal breaker for me if you want to hear the story behind this video please keep on watching and if you haven't subscribed to this channel again what are you waiting for please go and subscribe put on the notification bell it's equally important turn it to all so you get whole notifications and every time i post you get my videos you get notified about my videos all right so let's get into this story hi guys so i'm back i went to get comfortable and get myself a cup of tea I'm going to be bringing one of my bad habits on camera and that's eating tea. I don't drink my tea like everybody else does. I eat my tea. <laughs> don't judge me. I just feel like it tastes like chocolate. And please, who doesn't like chocolate? When I eat the tea, I feel like I'm taking something very sweet, very compared to chocolate. And we all know that a girl's best friend is chocolate. And if you don't know, and you're a guy, <laughs> sorry, no wonder you don't have a girlfriend. Anyways, so to this story, I was just sitting down, judge and I was scrolling through Twitter, and I saw this video clip of a couple that were getting married, and um, they were supposed to feed each other and the bride was just trying to play with the groom and she was like you know this thing you do when you want to give somebody something and you just take it away from their mouth a bit and taking it and take it away a bit and taking it that was what she did she did it once and she earned herself a big slap in front of everybody a big slap i'm going to put the video right here so that you guys can see Tell me, if you were the one, what would you do in that kind of situation? In that kind of a relationship? Now, we all know that before these things happen, there are red flags. We all know that there would have been subtle ends about all of these things. Especially violence. Violence now, I mean, on the list of my deal breakers, violence is number one no you cannot just be turning me to a punching bag and be beating me at every slight provocation because i like to provocate people <laughs> i like to annoy people close to me so you cannot at every slight provocation slap me hit me or i mean if it was that my dear I would be filled with bruises all over. So first of all, where did the warning signs go? Why do we choose to ignore the warning signs when we see them? Would you stay in, a, in an abusive relationship? And abusive relationships can come in many ways. It can be emotional abuse, it can be physical abuse, it can be verbal abuse. I do not stand for any of it. Any. You cannot abuse me. I mean, you just cannot. First of all, this is why I don't like the idea of marrying somebody that has such huge age gap from me. Because there would be this whole respect thing that you have to respect the person. Not that. I'm not saying that even if the person is your age mate or even if as a lady you are older than the person you should not accord respect to who should be accorded to. Of course we should all respect every single person as human beings. Yes, you should respect your fellow, fellow humans. So I'm not saying that because there's a huge gap difference then you know but I'm saying that for me, as a Yoruba girl that I have, brought up in a home that even if somebody is one day older than you, you have to put a kind of respect on their name. I 
cannot marry somebody that is like five ten years older than me because i wouldn't even be free with the person i wouldn't it's just that's just my kind of person i wouldn't be free with them and then i'm supposed to marry that person and the person's supposed to be my best friend speaking of best friends your spouse is supposed to be your best friend so why would your best friend be raising their hands on you be abusing you emotionally verbally physically i mean people please eh, this marriage thing is not by force marry your best friend marry somebody you can play with you can joke with somebody that sees your sarcasm for sarcasm hey my dear important marry somebody that can see your sarcasm for what it is and not vex please oh <laughs> please these are things that are very important that you should actually look out for in relationships when somebody is already threatening to beat you at every slight provocation be careful when somebody is already like holding their hands up like they want to beat you at the slightest things be careful because one day that hand they raised up would eat a part of your body and you'll be shocked violence is not the answer as ladies we have to be able to walk away from what is not good for us and it's not even just violence there are a list of things that when you see these things in people you walk away not for anything but for your own sanity for your own peace for your own life because people die from abusive relationships people get depressed people commit suicide on abusive relationships so please do not marry somebody that has ever laid their hands on you do not now can people change well this is a very huge question because growing up i used to believe that people do not change but as a grown somebody that i am i have seen people that have changed yes i have i mean as a grown ass person you don't have to continue to live with the beliefs you grew up with and what makes a person it's the beliefs it's what they've been through so you don't have to like be stuck on the beliefs you grew up with so that's why i believe that yes people can actually change people see things that are wrong with the way they behave and they actually decide in themselves to change now can you change a person absolutely no nobody can change a person except a person that wants to be changed so don't even don't try to change a person don't do it the whole concept of um when they get married they will change don't please don't fall for it please i beg you please do not fall for that trash in fact i feel i'm not married but i feel like it would even be worse in marriage because they feel like okay you guys are trapped so there's no way anybody is going that's if they don't believe in divorce so it's even worse and by the time people are ready to get divorced you already have one or two kids please just don't try to change anybody again for your own peace of mind don't there's no point in it you hear me all right so violence i would never 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 advise my strongest of enemies to marry anybody that is violent to them whether physical emotional or verbal abuse you have somebody that talks back at you anyhow and cannot criticize you constructively please run life is full of ups and downs enough of them to not have somebody second guessing you at every point to not have somebody that just keeps abusing you verbally at every slight mistake you make in fact those kind of people they don't only abuse you for your mistakes they abuse you for things you're even doing right 
so all the days of your life you are just walking on eggshells nobody deserves to live that way and one of the most important ways to make sure you don't live that way is to look out for the warning signs and make sure that you don't fall for them make sure that you carry your load and go make sure that you put your two slippers on your head or shoe or heels whatever it is you're wearing and warn please do not stay in an abusive relationship what whatever kind of abuse it is please so now that i have told you my most important deal breaker what is your most important deal breaker what is it that your spouse would do and you will just wash your hands of them and, and say new shema carry your load and go no matter if it's a marriage or not let me hear what you guys think in the comment section what do you think about my deal breaker we just stay in an abusive relationship if yes why if no why let me know have you ever been in an abusive relationship before did you see the warning signs did you leave how did you leave how did you get the courage to leave because i know that the courage to leave is another topic entirely it's not easy to leave i acknowledge that it's not easy to leave it's not easy to leave somebody you put your life into their hands you bonded you i mean all of the relationship shenanigans it's not easy to leave so have you ever been in an abusive relationship before how did you leave how did you gather the courage to leave have you ever had a friend in an abusive relationship before what advice did you give the friend how did the friend manage to leave such abusive relationship do you know somebody that has died from an abusive relationship before please let us know in the comment section and also before you leave make sure you like comment and subscribe to this channel hmm. let me give you guys one gist see my last apropos gist then it was the most blown youtube video <laughs> i've ever done it had the most well it didn't have the most views but it had the most watchers watch minutes <laughs> we are not at ours yet <laughs> watch minutes and i was blown really i was surprised anyways so let me know what you think about this video in the comment section subscribe for more apropos just turn on your notification bell to get the notification every time i post a video and please share be raised by lifting others eh i'm begging you <laughs> please share this video please subscribe like I said in one of my videos, it should not take shin shin from your pocket. Please subscribe. Even if later you now decide pay, you don't want to watch my videos, eh? you still can leave the subscription. It will not do anything to you. <laughs> Just please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Share to your friends and family and enemies and colleagues and everybody you know. Please share this video. Please share this video. Please share this video. Alright, I'll see you in my next one. I love you guys. Thank you for staying with me thus far. Lauren Tribe, I love you. Bye guys. Have a good one.